Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today we are diving into an Evernote alternative. This one is called Note Snook and it is heavily focused on privacy features. So if that is really important to you or you're looking for an Evernote alternative with um, better pricing as well as a free plan, this might be the app for you. And I think we could start off with the pricing plan of this because no snook is actually quite cheap so this is the yearly plan it is in norwegian kroners but i will come back to how much this is in uh, us dollars but my guess is that they have regional pricing uh, i always guess that when they give me prices in uh, my own currency but uh, let's just start off with the basic plan which gives you real-time unlimited sync 20 notebooks um Text only exports, limited organization, manual backups, and basic web clipping with the pro plan, which is uh, 54 36 Norwegian kroners, which is around five dollars. Um, and monthly it is 550 converted from Norwegian kroners to USD. Uh, you get unlimited storage, you get advanced web clipper, you get exports in PDF, HTML, and Markdown, you get recurring reminders and unlimited notebooks and tags. There is also an education plan, which is uh, 114, uh, 140 Norwegian kroners, which is like 1380 uh, USD. It is really hard to do the conversions, but around that, uh, so quite cheap. And the application is generally quite uh, cheap, and you can actually get away with the free plan uh, as well. You get a seven day uh, money back guarantee on the monthly plan, and you get a 30 day uh, money back guarantee on um, the monthly plan. I was also able to get. Uh, to get uh, a free trial, a seven day free trial. I think it was seven days when I first tested out the application. Let's jump into the application. So here we have like our notes, we have our notebooks, we have favorites, we have tags, reminders, and monographs. So this application is end to end encrypted. It uh, also works offline. I'm currently in the web version, but you can also download the application. It is available on Android and iOS as well. So it is really similar to um, to something like Evernote. And that is what I, why I'm calling it an Evernote alternative, because you can click here and you can create uh, your notes. So let's just call this test uh, note uh, like this. And you have uh, a few formatting options. I can also use Markdown to format stuff and I can also create checkboxes here. Uh, so there are a bunch of things I can do in here. Uh, you can change the font. There are three to choose from. You can choose monospace, sans serif, or a serif font. You can change the headings. You can add different types of lists. You can add a link. You can add bi-directional note links, so basically backlinking. Uh, and here, like, I can click on this button uh, right here, and I can search for a note. So let's do uh, notes uh, nook. And I can insert that link, uh, which brings me to my note, notes look. And I can, uh, I have also linked that to Evernote, so I can go uh, on from there. So this just shows how the backlinking uh, works inside of here. Uh, so you have that as well. But you also have these notebooks. So here I have one notebook called Apps, which I've put a few applications into. I've only used this app for testing uh, on YouTube videos, but here I can click the plus uh, and I can uh, create a notebook. So let's call this test notebook one. Uh, it is quite simple to use and that is something I really like about it. So now this is test notebook one. I can add a note from within my notebook. So test note for a test notebook but i can also add tags you can see that it has this tags right here so i can create a new test tag i already have an apps tag as you can see and here i have notes nook but i haven't tagged evernote with the same tag so um i can actually go into my notebooks uh, and go into apps and it should be in here uh, and 
it is currently in read only so i have to remove that right click and remove read only because i can turn it into a read only note so let's remove that and let's actually add the apps and let's turn it into read only again so that is also something you can do uh, inside of this app um, there is no backslash functionality that is something i would really like personally uh, but not uh, not a deal breaker at all uh, the application feels really intuitive as you might have figured out uh, by me just going through everything uh, so it is quite simple to use and uh, if you have used Evernote this will make a lot of sense for you here I can also uh, link things uh, into notebooks I can unlink them I can actually assign it a color uh, so let's just do a color here and do test color and just go ahead and create that so you can see that the color changes and i also get this color right here so multiple ways of organizing uh things and you can organize things across notebooks with colors with things like tags uh, which i really like i can also put this into local only or i can copy the internal link to get the back link and like go into my uh, note here and paste it so i can do it like that as well there are a few ways of doing uh the back linking uh so uh, that is like some of the main features of this app i can of course create shortcuts pins set things as default move things to trash uh, and in my notes i can like add tags i can print them publish them export them copy uh, and make them local only so they will only be available locally on the device i am currently using they have something called monographs and um this can get a little technical but i will uh, not go into the technical part of it uh, i will just quickly try to explain like this is a secure and private way of sharing no your notes that is basically what it is uh, if you want to learn more about how this works, uh, if you're interested in that and you uh, know a lot about the technical parts of this, then you can check out their website. You can add reminders here as well. These are sort of like for task management. Um, if you needed to be reminded of something, I probably wouldn't use this for like fully task management. But uh, if there is a project you need to be working on or uh, something uh, quick that you need to get down and uh, have a reminder on this application might work for that repeatable uh, reminders they only uh, are available through the pro plan so i think that like covers it for uh, this notes notes nook video i really like the application for several reasons the first one is the privacy the second one is the simplicity the third one is the pricing it also has a good web clipper um, not the best web clipper i've seen but a good web clipper a good enough web clipper at least uh, that has been my experience when i've tested it out i had some issues with it at the start but i had to like remove it and re-download it and it worked so uh, basically i think it is really good value for your money and if you're just looking for a simple note taking app maybe you're tired of paying uh, a lot for Evernote then this might be something to look into I think that covers it for today's video if you have any questions leave them down below I will try to get back to you as soon as I can thank you so so much for watching today's video